Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms, and we got to take a look at the brakes on the old Sienna again. I'll have to look back at when we did this last time. Maybe we'll get better uh, footage and video this time. We'll see. Uh, I think it's in the back and probably on this side is where I hear some noise. So let me take this apart first. Uh, we've got a fun new magnetic uh, GoPro holder. That's pretty fun. So maybe we'll do better. And the van has 199,000 miles on it uh, last I looked. So that's about where we're at, and uh, let's see what's wrong with the brakes on this thing. We'll take apart this back wheel first. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, so we got this all taken apart. We've got the calipers off, and I'm pretty sure that being froze up caused everything else to go bad. If we look at the rotor, this is on the inside. There's a deep groove in the center, raised portions on the sides. The brake pad itself for this one, for the, that was rubbing there, is all wore out on the inside down to the wear strip. So this was starting to make noise. And then wore on the outside as well. So that's the problem. So I got all this stuff. We saw from Advanced Auto Parts. This is possibly for the other side, but same idea. Uh, new caliper new rotor and new pads over in the other box I have over here show you that just because we're trying to get it all this is the new pads with the model number model numbers on the end here these are gold premium all this stuff has limited lifetime warranty on it but I'll uh, tell you there's my parts numbers this one Dropped in the snow on the way in, but that's not going to hurt anything. My limited lifetime. I, I would be surprised if Advanced Auto Parts has ever honored a claim like that. One time you buy their pads and they got this lifetime warranty business going on. You call up and say, hey, yeah, my pads wore out again. I got the lifetime warranty. Oh, well, that doesn't count unless you replace the caliper from us, too. So he replaced the caliper, and then this time I called him up and said, I know I've done these brakes a number of times on this van. I'm sure I've done the calipers at least once. I always buy all my stuff from you guys. So can you look me up at the computer and tell me how much of this stuff's covered? They, they have nothing in the computer. So, anyways, I continue on. I buy more stuff from them. And... Uh, don't plan on ever collecting a warranty, but that's how that goes. Next uh, thing is I ordered all of this stuff online, pick it up at the store, makes it handy. And I had uh, seven different uh, uh, perks awards or whatever. Five, uh, one was five bucks and the rest were 10. So I had all the stuff in the cart want to check out maybe I can apply all these things you can't you can only apply one so since I was getting five different things I threw everything out of the car except for one thing checked it out checked out four more times with all the stuff used one of those things every time so I got five orders I don't know why why make it hard anyways so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put all the stuff back on you guys have seen the brake changes uh, before so this is just another another time and uh, we'll talk about it a little more before I put the wheel back on. See you in a minute. All right uh, so we got the passenger side uh, mostly done. It's uh, about 150 bucks worth of parts there. Put the when you go back together I like to screw the caliper onto the hose you know get that all done before we have any problems with 
uh, exposed oil line or whatever. Put the rotor on. Put this bracket on here from uh, that's part of the caliper. Uh, and then and then uh, put the brake new brake pads in. Caliper on. We're good to go. You notice we're missing a stud here. Maybe not our safest plan in the world, but we've been running that way for probably at least a hundred thousand miles. At one point we got uh, new tires on this thing from Walmart, and not long after that we noticed that that was broke off. So. I'm guessing they tightened that up with a pretty hardy uh, impact gun, and that's what you get. So, uh, pretty well done with this side. I'm going to put the uh, wheel back on and uh, go on and do the other side. I'll show you that, too. We'll see what we got over there. All right. Uh, there really wasn't a lot to see here. Uh, all the new stuff's on. Uh, brakes are bled. Good to go. I gotta put the hubcap back on. Uh, I did want to show you this. The uh, old caliper bracket. Here's the brake pads. Those are 50 60 percent, I would say. That's the outside one. Inside one, completely gone. Way down to the metal and everything. So. Totally done for. And that is what happens when the caliper fails and it doesn't release. And I don't know. I mean, it is 2022. Maybe there should be a way that uh, calipers and brake pads and rotors and things don't cost a ton more. But maybe that thing could report back better on what uh, the status is of the brake pads and the... Uh, calipers are bad or whatever somehow it could know but maybe that makes everything 500 bucks they still go bad and then just cost you know 10 times more don't know uh one more complaint about advanced auto parts when i picked this stuff up i noticed that this box was different than the other box that I showed you. The other one's kind of got the blue coloring and all the fancy print and everything's great. And the other one was seemingly all brand new. This one, the bolts that go through here to uh, the bracket are a different size than the other one. The bleeder is a different size wrench than the other side and the one for this the new one didn't have a little black cap for this which is disappointing so come on uh advanced auto parts we can't be that that hard up this one wasn't in a plastic bag either the other the new the other one which was more clearly new was in a plastic bag inside of the box this one wasn't so uh, we're gonna head back get the uh, core charge back out of this stuff the uh, oldest kid is doing drivers training right now so she would uh, benefit from a little drive anyways so we'll go do that um, try and stumble through my mess here I don't know if I'm gonna make it I'm just gonna see Who cleans this place anyways? Apparently nobody. That's the answer. Uh, 2008 Toyota Sienna. Whoop, hold on. That's me, sorry. 199,119 miles. We put those rear brake pads on. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. I just want all this to be out of the video, so after they Disappoint me on the warranty about 10,000 miles from now when everything's all junked then uh, yeah. Then we saw it here Here's uh My set of receipts no way to go here. 
One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Okay. Here's the uh, set of receipts. I think this will all show up since we're in 4K. Uh, let's see all these. I'm going to go down here, capture those barcodes. We'll be able to pick those off the video, I think, if we need to ever. He said, uh, the guy said, hey, take pictures of your receipts because uh, I ordered on, you ordered online and so the store won't have it. I don't know. I, apparently nobody is the right answer to who's developing the software system at Advanced Auto Parts. I might have to start, you know, at least pricing stuff out somewhere else because I can't say I'm really happy with how this is going with these guys today. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, See you on the next video, and we're going to go test our test drive our brake job. Have a good day. Bye.